Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel Crochet. My name is Jane. If you're new here to my channel, hello and welcome. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. And then you won't miss out on any of my tutorials and my lookbook videos that I bring out. And in today's video, it's going to be a tutorial and it's going to be how to make my latest crochet capelet design, which I've called the Beatrice. I'm wearing it and so is Mabel the Mannequin. Um, it's got a lovely fan shape detail and I've also added a contrasting fan as a double layer on the top. I've incorporated that into the design. I'm wearing the one that we're going to be making in today's tutorial. So if you fancy crocheting along with me today, then you're going to need a five millimeter hook and some Aran weight yarn. So let's get going with our crochet tutorial. <music> To make the Beatrice shoulder snug, I'm going to be using this Aran weight yarn. This is the Hayfield bonus Aran with 20% wool and I just love this colour green. I have quite a lot of green in my wardrobe so I just think that would go really nice. And for that lovely contrasting scallop shell detail on the edge and then around the neck, I'm going to go for this Drops Lima in this lovely brown, soft coffee brown colour. This is a double knit yarn. You can use Aran, you can use double knit. It's just purely for the last row of the capelet and that lovely shell detail in round the neck. I'm also going to be using a five millimeter hook. You're going to need some stitch markers, especially if you're new to crochet, I would never be without them. It's just a great way of never losing your beginning and ending of your rows and always some scissors. And before I start the tutorial, I just want to explain that this tutorial is in UK terms. So if you are watching from the US, then you just need to be aware of the difference in when I say, say for example, a double crochet, it would be single crochet. If I say treble, it would be double crochet for you. I'll put all the details as well for the amount of yarn that you need in the box below and I'm going to do in the medium sized shoulder snug and I'll put the dimensions for that too in the box below. There will be the PDF pattern and it will include small, medium, large and extra large sizes. So if you want to get the pattern, please feel free to download it. So let's get going. So we're going to start off and we're going to make a chain. So let's do our slip knot. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that's how you do your chain. So I'm going to leave you now to finish off your chains and I want you to chain 176 plus 1. And I shall see you when you have got that number on your hook. Okay, so you should have 176 chains plus one, so 177 chains. And we are going to work a row of double crochet. So we're gonna go down into that second chain from our hook, insert our hook and work our first double crochet. So let's just put our stitch marker into that first one that we've just done. Pop that in there and then we know where our first stitch was and we're just going to insert our hook into every chain along and work a double crochet or single crochet if you're from the US. So let's just do a few. So if I leave you to work all the way along your chain, inserting your hook into every stitch with a double crochet and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just towards the end of my double crochets. So I've just got two more to do. And the last one. And 
and we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first one that we did. So all we're going to do is run our finger along the length and it will make sure that your work is not twisted because obviously we're going to join it now. And there is our first stitch because we've got our stitch marker in. So we're going to insert our hook into there. We know the, I know my work isn't twisted now, so I'm just going to take out my stitch marker, keep ho keeping hold of my work. I know my work isn't twisted. Insert my hook into that stitch, going through both parts of that V. And I'm just going to slip stitch, so yarn over, pull through, and we've now created the neckline and it's now in a big loop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be working in rounds from now on. So we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And don't worry about um, this gap here because we will stitch that in at the end. So we're going to chain three. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So we've got three chains. Now working down into this same stitch, our first stitch, that V there, we're working into that very same first stitch, we're going to work two trebles. Now these, this three chain classes as our first treble, so we're going to do two more. So yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that again, yarn over down to that same stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And before we continue on, let's insert our stitch marker to the top of that chain three that we did. So let's count one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's just insert our stitch marker there because that's where we're going to slip stitch to when we come back around. Next, we're going to chain one. Then we're going to skip three stitches. So we're going to skip the three, next three stitches. Let me just show you. Just take my hook out. So there is our trebles that we've just worked into that stitch there. We're going to skip three stitches. So we're going to skip three V's. One, two, and three. And we're going to go, and we're going to go insert our hook into that next stitch. So skip three. So let's just do that. So skip one, skip two, skip three into that next one. Let's do a double crochet. Like so. Let's chain one. Let's skip three. So skip three, one, two, three, and into that next stitch. I'm sure I'm getting less and less room here. I don't know who's going to win this battle, but I don't think it's going to be me. So we're going to skip three. So we've just done our double crochet, chain one, skip, let's skip three, one, two, three, into that next stitch. We're going to yarn over and we're going to work five trebles. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. There's our first. Yarn over, down into that same stitch. Work your next treble, yarn over and down again, working your next treble, and again, that makes four, one more, that makes five. Then we're going to chain one, and again skip three, so skip one, two, three, and a double crochet into the next. Then we're going to chain one, skip three, one, two, three, five trebles into the next. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, skip three, double crochet into the next. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along this row. So chain one, skip three, 
five trebles. chain one, skip three, and a double crochet into that next one. So just let's repeat that all the way along. I'm going to leave you now, Oops, said paw. I'm going to leave you now all the way to continue to the end, just repeating this. So it's chain one, skip three, five trebles, chain one, skip three, double crochet chain one, skip three, five trebles, chain one, skip three, double crochet. Repeat that all the way along and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and I'll show you how to finish off this first round. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of the first row and I've just finished with my five trebles, my chain one, skip three, double crochet. So I've just got to, I've done my chain one, and I've just got to skip the next three. So one, two, three. So it's going to bring us right back to where we started. And just to finish off, we need to do two more trebles to make this our five treble cluster. Because we did remember, we did the three chain, which counted as the first treble, and we did another two. So we need to do two more. So we're just going to insert our hook right back in the beginning where we started. So We've done our chain one, we're going to skip the three and we're going to insert our hook in the same space that we started and work two trebles. So just continue with your two trebles in that space there. And we're now going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three. So just take off your stitch marker. Insert your hook into that third chain and slip stitch and that creates our final five trebles. And for the next row, really simple, we're going to chain one which does not count as a stitch and into that first stitch we're going to do a double crochet. So insert your hook and do a double crochet. and put your stitch marker in so we know where we're going to slip stitch to and we come back around and we're going to chain one and we don't need to skip stitches now as such we're just going to be working into the double crochets from the row below or the third treble from the row below so you don't have to worry about skipping three or anything like that we're just naturally going to work into these stitches so we've done our first double crochet We've chained one, so we're going to now work our five trebles, but we're going to be working it into the double crochet from the row below. So insert your hook and work your five trebles. So it's just a repeat of the first row, but we're just moving along where we're putting our five trebles or our double crochet. So we've got one more to go. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do our double crochet into the third of our five trebles. So if you're not sure which one it is, there, there's your five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see the V stitches for each one. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third, there's the fourth, and there's the fifth. And we want to be working into the third one. So one, two, three three and we're going to go through both parts of that V like so. So we've done our five trebles, we've done our chain one, we're now going to do our double crochet into that third treble and work our double crochet. Chain one then down into the double crochet and work five trebles. So it's the same pattern for every row. There's no other stitches involved now. 
all we're doing is alternating each row where we are putting our five trebles. So as you can see already, our five trebles in the row below were there and then we're going to be putting them in between the next row. There's our five trebles, there's our five trebles, there's our double crochet and we're putting our trebles in between. So the next row up we'll be putting our five trebles again in between. But let's just continue on. So we've done our five trebles, always chain one and then at the top of the third treble work your double crochet. Always chain one, then five trebles down into the double crochet from the row below and it's just as simple as that. So I'll just do a quick recap. So we've done our five trebles, always chain one, then into the third treble, double crochet. Always chain one, then five trebles into the double crochet of the row below. So if I leave you to work the rest of this row, and don't forget you can pause the video, rewind as many times as you need. But it's really this simple. So chain one, double crochet into the middle treble, chain one, then five trebles into that double crochet of the row below. So if I leave you to finish off this row and I shall see you somewhere towards the end, I'll show you how we finish off this row. So pause the video, continue on and I shall see you somewhere towards the end near the stitch marker and I'll show you how to go on to the next row. Okay so I'm just coming to the end of round two and I've just done my five trebles. I've done my chain one and it brings me right back to my stitch marker and we're just going to slip stitch because that is our double crochet that we started off with so we're just going to slip stitch into that double crochet. And that completes round two. And can you see how the five trebles are alternating on this row? So let's just do another few stitches to get you going on this round. So as always, we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. Now this is obviously our double crochet. So we're always going to do our five trebles into our double crochet now. So yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch and work one double crochet, insert your stitch marker and we're only going to do three trebles on our very first set at the beginning of the row. So let's just do the three. And then we're going to chain one, always chain one in between. We're going to do our double crochet in the middle of our five trebles. Chain one and then our five trebles into the double crochet and it's as simple as that. So let's just do these five trebles. One, two, three, four and five. Chain one, double crochet in the middle of our five trebles. Chain one, and five trebles in the double crochet and that's all we're going to do all the way around. So I'll just finish off these five trebles and chain one and work all the way around like we've just done. When we come into the end we finish off with our double crochet in the top of our five trebles, chain one and then we've come back to our half set of five trebles there. So into that first stitch do two more trebles and then slip stitch to the top of the first one where your stitch marker is. Then you chain one and because we're at the top of the trebles, the five trebles for the next round, chain one and do your double crochet, chain one then do your next five trebles. So no matter where you're, you are on which round you are, you're always going to do your five trebles in your double crochet and you're always going to do your double crochet on the middle 
of your five trebles, the third one. So no matter what row you're on, you're always doing your trebles, five trebles in that dip, if you know what I mean. And then you're going to do your one double crochet in the peak. When you start off the round with your five trebles, you just start off with the three, come back round and finish off with the two and slip stitch. And then you do your double crochet. And then that's the only difference on that row there. So if I leave you to work the rest of this row, so I need you to continue doing those same two rows and I will see you when you come to the end of round 21. So I'm just towards the end of round 21. I've just done my double crochet, my chain one, and I've just got to finish off those last two trebles in this cluster here. So I'll just finish off there. One, and two and we're back to where we started and we're going to change yarns here so I'm going to bring in this lovely rustic brown take your stitch marker out insert your hook because we're going to slip stitch so just bring in that new colour just tighten it off And we're going to work one more row with our contrasting colour. So let's just start off. So chain one as usual, which does not count as a stitch. And because we've got a five treble cluster, we're going to go down into that middle one, the third one, and work our double crochet. Chain one. Let's just put our stitch marker into that double crochet. We've chained one, so we're going to go down as usual into the next double crochet and do our five trebles. So just one more row with our second colour and just repeat exactly what you've been doing in the previous rows. So you've got your five trebles, chain one, then double crochet into the third treble from the row below, chain one and then your five trebles again. So I'll let you continue on and I'll see you somewhere towards the end. We'll fasten off and then we'll turn our work around and then we'll do that lovely contrasting scallop on the neck edge. So we're back to the beginning. So we're just going to slip stitch, take our stitch marker out. And we're just going to slip stitch to finish off this row. I'm just going to trim the yarn because we're now finished. And just pull it through. And obviously we've got to sew in our ends. So that's the end. So what we need to do now is turn the work back to the right way around. And you need to be looking at the where we first started with our chains. And you can see that's our first row we did of double crochets right at the very beginning. So we're going to be working into, let me just get my hook. We're going to be working into the unused part of the chain. So that's the unused part. So we're going to be working into that. Okay, so before we continue on with our top end of our snug, we're just going to need to sew in the end. So I'll show you how to do that. If you remember when we did our first row we didn't slip stitch into the chain, we worked our row of double crochet and then we came to that point there so we had that little bit of a gap. So all we're going to do is thread our needle and just turn the work with the wrong side facing and you just literally insert your needle And you just close, close that gap. I'm just going to go over a few times and just turn it round and that gap is now closed, ready for us to do our neck ribbon and also our contrasting scallop edge detail. Okay, so we've got all our ends stitched in and we're ready to do our first round. And we're looking at the top, the top part of our capelet. So we should have our contrasting trim at the bottom. 
So we're now looking at the top part. This is going to be where the ribbon goes. So we're going to work in the unused part of the chain. So can you see these like little bars along the top? We're going to be working into them. So we're just going to insert our hook into one of those unused parts of the chain and just bring our yarn through. I'm just going to tie mine off with a knot and I'm going to work over that yarn. So I'm just going to bring it to the back and work over that so I don't have to sew it in afterwards. Insert your hook back in, bring the yarn through, chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to go back down into that stitch and work a double crochet. And I'm just going to put a stitch marker in. Just into that first double crochet that we've just done. And I'm just going to work all the way around, working into the unused part of that chain that we did. Working double crochet, just insert your hook into that unused part, double crochet. So I'll just show you in slow motion. There is the bar, unused part. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So just going to work all the way around, picking up every part of the unused chain that we did at the beginning. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here and then I'll take you on to the next stage. Okay, so I'm just towards the end, just got a few more to pick up. And if you remember, we chained 176, so you should have 176 that you've picked up. And I'm just going to slip stitch to that first one that we did. So just remove our stitch marker and slip stitch. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in our other colour. And we're going to be working along here and we're going to be doing our contrasting shell detail and we need to turn our work. So we need to turn our work so this is now at the bottom of us. And if you just take your hook out, because we're going to leave that this yarn behind for the moment. So let's just turn the work around. So it's now at the bottom. And just leave that there because we're going to come back to that after we've done this row. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working this pattern again but we want it to sit proud of our work so we're going to be working in the bot you know this row we've just done a double crochet we're going to be working in the back loop the back loop because we want it to work down and then we're going to use the remaining part the front loop to do our ribbing eventually so we're going to be starting with the back loops so we need to attach our yarn and I'm just attaching my yarn further along doesn't really matter where I'm just going to tie it I'm just going to insert move my yarn this other yarn out the way insert your hook back through there bring your yarn through and chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and then back down and do a double crochet and again just going to insert our stitch marker and we're going to be doing our five trebles but we're going to be doing five double trebles or if you're watching from the US five trebles because we want them to be a little bit bigger than the original ones because we want them to stand out so we've done our double crochet we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip three so skip one two three just like we did in the pattern and then we're going to work into the next one but through the back loop only and wrap the yarn twice around our hook through the back loop and then work your double treble like so, and we do that for five times. 
And one more time. Chain one. Skip three. One, two, three. And double crochet through the back loop only of the next one. Chain one. Skip three. One, two, three. And then double treble. Five double trebles into the next one. One more. Chain one. Skip three. One, two, three. Double crochet back loop only of the next one. Chain one. And if I just show you how it's looking. So it's creating our fan detail. But because we're doing a double treble, it's a little bit bigger, so it's got a little bit more dimension to it. So we're just going to repeat this all the way along, exactly as we did throughout the pattern, but we're working through the back loop only, and we're doing double treble, or treble if you're watching from the US. So it's double crochet, chain one, skip three, Double, five double trebles, chain one, skip three, double crochet all through the back loop only. And if you want to pause the video, work all the way around and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and I'll show you how to finish off this contrasting row. Okay, so I'm just towards the stitch marker again. So I've just done my chain one and skip my three, which brings me back to the stitch marker. So I'm just going to slip stitch. to the top of that first double crochet that we did and just going to snip the yarn, pull that through and there is our scallop detail along the top part. So that completes that and obviously you need to sew in our ends. Now I need to pick up, we need to pick up our loop from our main shade which is just there. So just insert your hook into that and we need to turn our work around now. So I'll turn the work around, we'll finish working upside down. Okay, so what we're going to do, oops, put my, uh, my hook in the right way. Just doing that right. You can always tell whether your hook's been put back in the, the loop the right way. If you just pull the yarn, it should pull at the front like that one is. I'll do it again, show you. You should always pull from the front. So, for example, I had it in that way and you can see it's twisted. And again, I had it that way and it's pulling from the back, which is not the right way. So, insert it that way, pull it again and the yarn is pulling at the front. So, we know it's in the right way. So obviously we're going to come back and sew in our ends later on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work along the other part of that double crochet and we're going to be working, we're going to reduce the size down now. So we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to go back down but through the back loop only part and do our double crochet. And I'm just going to insert my stitch marker. And we're going to skip one and then we're going to double crochet into the next through the back loop only. Skip one, double crochet into the next. Skip one through the back loop, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. We're going to do this all the way along. Skip one, double crochet. And this is going to bring in the shoulder part down for us. It's going to bring it down ready for us to do our ribbing. So skip one, double crochet all the way around. So if I leave you to continue on, skip one, double crochet through the back loop only, all the way around. I shall see you somewhere towards the stitch marker and then we'll work on the ribbing. Okay, so I've just got a couple more to finish off. So I'll skip one, double crochet, skip one, and I'm back to my stitch marker. Just slip stitch 
two at the top and you should have 88 stitches now so we should have 88 stitches so now we're going to go on to the ribbon so we're going to chain nine So we've got nine chains and we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook so obviously that doesn't count anything as anything on your hook not the first chain the second chain insert your hook and work a double crochet I'm going to put a stitch marker in because you can quite easily lose your stitches when you're doing this ribbing so it's always best to use your stitch marker and we're going to work down every chain insert your hook and work a double crochet and the last one there you just want to double check that you've got eight you should have eight so we're always going to be having eight stitches now on our ribbing. So if you count the V shapes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So every so often you just double check you've got your eight stitches. Now obviously we're not going to work back down into that stitch because we've just come out of there. So we're going to go down into the next and insert your hook and slip stitch. And then into the next one and slip stitch and turn your work and we're now we're going to be working back up the ribbing but through the back loop only and if you're unsure where to start just count back so just count back one two three four five six seven eight so you're going to be working into the back loop only And double crochet through the back loop of that V you see the V's along the top you're going through the back loop part of it normally we would go through both parts but to create that ribbed effect we're going through the back always throughout the rest of this ribbon is the back loop only and you should always have eight and we've got the last one there a little bit fiddly on the first round we've got get the stitch marker out And we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to work back down through the back loop only with double crochet insert my stitch marker through the first one and if you just turn your work you can see the V's so back loop only and you know you should always have eight so just keep a check of how many you've got On the last one there at the bottom and we'll just double check we've got eight so we've got one two three four five six seven eight and obviously we've just come out of we've worked out of there so we don't want to be going straight back down directly below you can see we've come out of there we're, we've worked out of there so we don't go back into there we move along to the next one insert your hook and slip stitch move along to the next one 
insert your hook, slip stitch, turn your work and we're going to work all the way back up, get to the top, chain one, work all the way back down, slip stitch, slip stitch, work all the way back up. So we're just going to repeat that all the way along so you can pause the video, rewind if you need to and work all the way, make sure you've always got the eight stitches through the back loop only to the bottom, slip stitch, slip stitch, work all the way back up, chain one, turn, work all the way back down and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of our ribbing and we'll stitch it all together and then we'll finish off our scallop detail. Okay so I've worked all the way around with my ribbing and I've come to the beginning and I've just got to slip stitch so I'm just going to slip stitch down into that next one and I'm going to slip stitch down into the next one and then what we're going to do is just going to close up the ribbing. So we're just going to bring right sides together. So just bring right sides together. And we're going to slip stitch across. So just bring right sides together. Line up your stitches. So you should have eight stitches to line up. So if you line up your two end ones. And then count back. Make sure they're even. So I'm just going to literally insert my hook through the first one and across the opposite. Pull through and slip stitch. And again with the next one, across to the opposite and slip stitch. Just going to do that all the way along. Two more left. And the last one, and you turn it round, you should have a lovely neat join. And all we're going to do now is trim off this yarn. And just pull through. And you should have a lovely neat join. So next we're going to sew in our ends. So I'm just going to sew in all my loose ends. So all I've got left to do now is to finish off our Beatrice capelet is I'm going to stitch down my shell detailing just to keep it nice and flat. I'm just going to pick up a stitch on each scallop. I'm just going to turn the work around. So I'm just going to literally catch the middle double treble of each scallop. Insert my needle into that middle one. Like so. Then just catch it. Make sure you're going over another piece of the yarn so you're not going back through the same hole. And literally go down. And then I'm just going to bring my needle up into that double crochet. Don't pull the yarn too tight. You just it's just a slack stitch, and just again from the double crochet up to that middle double treble. Not too tight. Back down, and then back up the next double crochet. And if you just do that all the way along, it just keeps your shell detail nice and flat. Just a nice slack zigzag tacking type of stitch just to hold down your shell. So if I leave you to do that, I'll see you when you're finished. And let's just come back up that first double crochet. And then back down. And turn the work through and that's where we started and I'm just going to knot my work like so I'm just going to trim the yarn and that keeps our scallops our shell detail nice and flat and neat and that is our Beatrice capelet. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I will put all the links for everything that I've used in the description box below. And some of those links may be affiliate links and all you need to do is just click on them. It won't cost you a single penny and I'll just get a small commission if you do decide to buy. As always, in the tutorial, there is also a PDF pattern that you can download too from my shop. And I do really appreciate when you do download those patterns. And um, the tutorial, obviously, today was in just for the one size. And if you need it for other sizes, then all the details will be in the pattern. So thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed making your Beatrice Snug. I like both versions that I've made. Both colour combinations go great with the clothes that I've got in my wardrobe and you always need to consider that as well when you're making your crochet items that they do go with something that you're going to wear because uh, no point in making it is there if you're not going to wear it so make sure you choose your colour yarns wisely. Uh, I'm going to run a little bit of um, uh, a vote as well in this video so I'd like you to tell me what you would like me to make for my next tutorial and I'm going to put three um, things up there for you to vote for. Then I'll do a tutorial for the one that gets the most votes. But until the next time, thank you so much for joining me today. You can always catch up with me over on my Instagram account, Loopy Mabel, and you'll see up-to-date items of things that I'm planning and making too. But until the next time, thank you so much for watching and please take care. And as always, happy crochet.